We will not know for another three years if the asteroid known as Apophis has been perturbed in the asteroid belt. In 2027, we will learn if this asteroid's trajectory has been altered. It is currently in the asteroid belt with millions of pieces of debris and each piece of debris can alter the trajectory of this object that is already set to make a dramatic close approach to our planet in 2029, just under 19,000 miles from our planet's surface. Because of this dramatic close approach, global mobilisation is underway and the latest spacecraft in this mobilisation has been sent to better understand how we can destroy such an object should it pose a risk to our existence. Wait to hear this. The European Space Agency's HERA spacecraft is a pioneering mission designed to enhance our understanding of planetary defence and asteroid deflection. Launched earlier this month, HERA is set to rendezvous with the binary asteroid system Didymos and its moonlet Dimorphos in December 2026. This mission follows NASA's double asteroid redirect test, known as DART, which successfully impacted Dimorphos in 2022, altering its orbit around Didymos. HERA's primary objective is to conduct a detailed post-impact survey of Dimorphos to assess the effectiveness of the kinetic impactor technique used by the DART mission. This involves measuring the size and morphology of the impact crater, analysing the momentum transfer and studying the debris cloud generated by the collision. By doing so, HERA aims to validate and refine methods for deflecting potentially hazardous asteroids, contributing to global planetary defence strategies. HERA is set to demonstrate advanced technologies such as autonomous navigation around an asteroid and low gravity proximity operations. This mission includes deploying two CubeSats called Milani and Juventus which will perform close-up observations and gather additional scientific data. While HERA's primary focus is on the Didymos Dimorphos system, the spacecraft's journey through space has provided opportunities to capture stunning and sometimes haunting images of planet Earth. HERA captured images taken from the vantage point of deep space, and these images offer a unique perspective on our planet highlighting its beauty and fragility. The contrast between the vibrant, life-sustaining Earth and the cold, desolate expanse of space serves as a poignant reminder of the importance of planetary defence efforts. On Friday, April the 13th, in the year 2029, the asteroid known as Apophis will make a dramatic close approach, coming within 19,000 miles of planet Earth's surface. This distance is closer than many geosynchronous satellites, making it a notable event for both scientists and the public. When you consider that when an asteroid comes within a few million miles of our planet, they call this asteroid a near-Earth object or a hazardous object, why are they not raising the alarm for the asteroid Apophis encounter? The dramatic close approach of asteroid Apophis in 2029 will provide an unprecedented opportunity to study the asteroid's trajectory and physical characteristics. And this is assuming that no perturbance has taken place in the asteroid belt regarding the trajectory of asteroid Apophis. And we won't know this for another three years until 2027 when its trajectory will be recalculated when it becomes visible from Earth. Scientists will use ground-based telescopes and radar observations to track Apophis's path with high precision. And this will take place in 2027. These observations will help determine if the asteroid's orbit has been perturbed by gravitational interactions or other factors. If any significant changes in Apophis's trajectory are detected, scientists will assess the potential impact risk Current analysis indicate that Apophis poses no risk to our planet for at least the next 100 years, but
But we won't know this to be true until 2027, when observations can take place. Continuous monitoring is essential to ensure that any future risks are identified and mitigated in a timely manner. China has recently said, for example, that our only current option to stop asteroid Apophis impacting our planet will be to use a nuclear detonation in space. The HERA mission represents a significant step forward in planetary defence and our understanding of asteroid deflection techniques. By studying the aftermath of the DART impact on Dimorphos, HERA will provide valuable data to refine our methods for protecting Earth from potential asteroid impacts. The close approach of asteroid Apophis in 2029 will offer a unique opportunity to study a near-Earth object up close, enhancing our ability to predict and mitigate future threats. Together, these efforts underscore the importance of international collaboration in safeguarding our planet from cosmic hazards. But what do you guys think about this? Comments below, and thank you for watching.